Hello and welcome back to the mini studio. Today is a really really beautiful day. I've even got the windows open. Let's take a look outside. Look at, oh my goodness, why is it so bright? Alright, now that's much better. Take a look at how clear the sky is. Clear blue sky is beautiful. Let's see if we can see a rice fish pond. So you can see a couple right there. I'm trying to make a few videos on those right now. We got some little rice fish babies. But today our focus is on this tank, the 60cm Aquascaped Aquarium. And the reason why we're making a video on this today is because we don't have a proper cover. So you can see on the top, I've got just what I had laying around in the house. This right here, sorry about the focus guys. This right here is it's a little sponge pad for putting under a little uh, aquarium or something like that. This here is a styrofoam. Uh, and then I've got this bat. Is that what you call it? A bat stainless steel one. And then I've even got this sponge from my filter. So as you can see, this is probably one of the worst covers that you can come up with. And look, you have all these gaps right here. You have gaps here, over here as well. Um, I mean, a little bit of a gap is okay, but you don't want to have too many because then the fish can jump out and we've got some shrimp in here. Let's try to look for some of the shrimp. Oh my goodness! Over there, look, you can see so many of them. It's hard to focus because the lights aren't turned on yet. A whole lot of them on that driftwood right there. And they have been doing a really good job at cleaning the algae up. You can see there's like almost no algae left. And if this is just two days after getting these guys. Also guys, what do you think about the tank? I think it looks really beautiful. You can see the plants just really starting to grow in now. You can see the Hydrophila pinnatifida coloring up. They're getting much bigger. The Nubias Nana Petite also. I love the darker green colors down there. But I am loving the way this tank looks. Before we get started with making the cover on this tank, I want to show you guys the tank that's in the, the garage. I don't want to call it a garage because that's not what it's supposed to be. I want to make it a nice fish room. Uh... Yeah, in the future, but uh, it's going to take some time, but l let me show you the tank right now. All right, you might be able to see that we've done a few changes. I've got some fish, I've got a few more plants in this tank, and I've also got a glass lid. And I can't have a glass lid in the tank in the mini studio because that tank has driftwood coming out of the water. So this one doesn't have anything, so we can put a nice glass lid. Um, but the one in the studio, we'll have to do something about it. I'll show you guys later. But look, we've got some of these Sabwa Resplendent or the Asian Rummy Nose uh, Rasbora. And they're not colored up yet and a little bit skinny. So I'm feeding them like three times a day. So with that, I've got to do many water changes. Um, and I'm going to do a water change in just a while. But you can see I've also got a few plants. We've got some Tenelum Green, Helanthium Tenelum Green from Tropica. We've got the verticulata, the mushroom plant. Yeah, I guess those are the two new plants that I got. Oh yeah, I also got some mosses here and I've got to reattach them because I think I accidentally cut the string off some of them. So I've got to reattach that. I'm gonna do a super quick water change on this tank right now and then after that I'm gonna show you some feeding action of these Asian Rominos Rosboros that are really amazing fish. Water change done, water is looking crystal clear and look at my little fish. Alright, time to feed them. I've got this little bag of fish food right here, $4 for this and I'm not sure if you can see all of that but it's super, super fine and it smells super nice as well. I love this. I think I could eat that. Alright, so I'm just going to put you down right there for a second while I get some of this. I just sprinkle some in the gap there. And the fish love this. So look, once one guy goes, everyone else goes. Look at that. Really amazing. And I'm not so sure why yet, but these Rummy Nose Rosboras haven't colored up. And I'm hoping they will soon. Uh, I'm not sure if they're still just young or whatnot. You can see the honey gouramis there as well. but. If I can, I really want to try to breed these guys. So 
some of you might be saying, oh, maybe they're not colored up because they're all females, but no. I guarantee you, I know that there are some males in there. Here, I'm gonna take this lid off. Well, it's not actually a lid, but I'm gonna take it off and you'll be able to clearly see why I can't have a glass lid. All right, so I can't have a glass lid because of that. I'd have to have like one piece that goes here and then maybe, no, no, you see, I don't want to have a glass lid. Also, also, I'm going to be taking the lid off, on and off. I'm going to be taking the lid on and off every day. Um, I'm only going to be using the lid at night because during the daytime when the lights are turned on, a glass lid will affect the amount of lightness that goes in and I don't want that to affect the plant's growth at all. So no, no glass lid on this tank. I just noticed this, but look at how beautifully the moss is starting to grow in. Just really, really beautiful. All right, I'm going to the home center now to look for some plastic covers, plastic boards for this tank. Before we go, the rice fish needs some new water. So I've got this, I've got some water filled in this bucket. And I just like to do this, very simple. Look, you can see the mushroom plant growing out of the water. That's crazy. All right, so a few more scoops. That's good for now. Just look at how colorful they are. I love these fish. All right, I'm here at the plastic board section. Look at all the boards they have. And man, there's just, there's actually a lot. Look over here as well. But I want to get something like this because this is, this is like plastic corrugated board and you can easily cut this to the shape you want. So I think this might be, have to be, this might have to be the one. I could also use acrylic. It's super clear, but the thing is, it's super hard to cut it to the shape I want. So, this one it is. And I am finally back. I've got my plastic board right here. It's 600 mm, so perfect uh, length, and 450 mm wide, so it's a little bit wider. So, I'm gonna have to trim that up. Let's trim this thing up right now. How do we open this thing? Finally got it. All right, I'm gonna get to work with this. I'm gonna try my best to make a nice lid. I am a perfectionist, so I really wanna make a nice lid. I'm gonna try my, how many times am I saying the same exact thing? All right, but I'll see you guys in just a moment. And check that out, I am finished. I've cut it up to all the, yeah, I've just cut it up. So let's go and put it on the tank. I didn't record myself cutting it because I mean, it's just, it's basically just cutting it with a knife. Now time for the moment of truth. Let's see if this will go in. All right, kind of challenging doing this with one hand. Let's see if we get, yep, we've done it. All right, so check this out. First, cutting right here for the pipes. Second one right here for this driftwood. And I'm gonna put a net on here later on so that I can open it and close it up. Uh, you'll see what I mean later. And then we've got one more opening right here for this air tube to come out. And it sits really nice and flush. Now obviously there are going to be some gaps like this, uh, some gaps over here. But it's really no big deal. Guys, you have no idea how excited I am. I think I just came up with one of the best ideas ever. Check this out. So this is that cover. Look what I made. So. Now we can close it up and the driftwood will be sticking up here. Look at that, like a sliding door system thing. That's awesome. Yep, all good, all good. And now we just slide this door. And we're done, this is amazing, I love this. It's been a couple of days, the tank has been doing amazing and I'm super happy. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new to this channel. I don't remember if I mentioned this, but the reason why I only use the lid at night is because 
Having a lid, even if it's a clear glass lid, sorry, it's too bright, I'm not so sure why. But even with a clear glass lid, it affects the amount of light that gets into the tank and it affects the way the plants grow. You see all the pro aquascapers, they don't use lids at all. That's probably the main reason why. I want to put a lid on at night every time I go to sleep so that the fish have less chance of jumping out. Really happy with the way this tank is developing. Look at all the moss growing. It's just beautiful. And the Hygrophila pinnatifida looking amazing. This here is a different type of Hygrophila pinnatifida. It's called Hygrophila pinnatifida UK and it's the one Araki-san used in the green aqua aquascape. It gets a darker red color. If you see the green aqua pictures, it looks amazing. But because I'm not using an RGB light, I decided to stick with a regular green color Pinazafida. Um, yeah, with an RGB lighting, this plant should become red in color. And when that plant gets red in color, it just looks incredibly beautiful. But I'm not sure if this one will turn red. We'll see. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.